Hello and welcome to 5 Minutes RF Pro tutorial. This is second tutorial for EM analysis with Momentum. Before we start, remember 1, 2, 3, subscribe to the channel, enable notification, like and share the video with your friends and colleagues. All right, let's go ahead and understand how do we perform EM analysis with Momentum in RF Pro. To explain this, uh, I do have a bandpass filter uh, layout in this example where you can see there are two pins connected on the bandpass filter built on a simple micro strip kind of substrate. Now, once we have the basic layout design ready, we can start RF Pro by clicking on this icon, which can be obtained from enabling the HSD toolbar or going to Tools RF Pro and creating a new setup, giving the view some name, selecting the right stack up. Now, once your database is available, in the RF Pro GUI, as you would see in a few seconds, you do have choice of setting up two type of analysis. Now, as we just spoke about, um, you know, different type of analysis in the last video. For my present case, I will use the full EM analysis because I would like to simulate this complete layout for electromagnetic simulation. So to avoid confusion, I can go ahead and right click and delete this analysis from the list. Now in full EM analysis, you need to basically create ports and all the design database is available in RF Pro. So all the pins you have placed in the layout is also, are also available. So to play, create the port for the pins you have placed in the layout, simply drag and drop the pins over to port. All the pins which you have in the layout will be converted to ports or you can selectively pick one of these pins and drag and drop it under ports to create that respective port. Choice is totally yours. Now, once you have the ports created, you can click on any port and then observe the plus and minus pin of the port you created. Now, in the present case, um, I do have a cover plate in my stack up, hence the reference pin will always be placed on cover as a matter of preference. And you can uh, definitely see that by expanding the port. Now, if you do not have cover plate on your stack up definition, then you need to decide where to place the pin. And that can be done by right clicking on this reference layer. And you can select any layer in your stack up to be used as a reference location for the negative pin placement. Now, this is as simple as it gets. Now, once you have the port, the next step is to go to options, set up your options in terms of frequency sweep. So here I will go ahead and set up the frequency span to be from 6.5 gigahertz to 9.5 gigahertz uh, for my this bandpass filter. Select the simulator as momentum microwave or momentum RF or FEM. In this video, let's focus on momentum. Now by default, momentum has one key setting, which is mesh density, which you can see 20 cells per wavelength. If you want to access more advanced options or momentum setup, you can click on the gear icon uh, next to the simulator name, and then you get the option to specify further inputs for your momentum setup. But in this example, we'll keep it very, very simple. Now, once all of that is done, we simply click done and double click on run to start the simulation. The simulation window will pop up where you can see your analysis name, uh, which is what you are running right now, and the rest of the uh, simulation characteristics. After the simulation is finished, you can see the status is marked as completed. Now we can close this window. And now we can go ahead and open the results window, double click on this parameter to see the response of my filter in the graph. So here you can select a one one to one to plot the desired as parameter term onto the graph. Now, if you need to place marker on the graph, you can do so by selecting any of these options here. For example, I can select um, the normal marker, place it anywhere in your graph. And once you are done, you can go ahead and press the escape key to end the command. Now, this marker, the font might be a little small in order to change the font could double click on the marker and then change the font size, or you can also enter the desired frequency on which you would like to place the marker. For example, in my case, I would like to place it on 7.75 gigahertz. And once I click done, you can see the marker shifts to that frequency. 
and now you can position the readout at the desired location the other way you can do is select the marker and use your scroll wheel to place the marker to the desired frequency point and here you can see 8.25 gigahertz if you right click and select a marker property you will see the same dialog which we obtained by double clicking so depending upon your preference you can pick and choose the way you want to place marker now if you want to change the graph properties such as thickness of the trace um, you know the, the color of the trace all that can be done by clicking on this pencil icon and now you can have access to modify the graph property as you look for all right, so that's enough for this video. I hope you got the understanding of how simple it is to run momentum simulation in the RF Pro interface. Stay tuned for next few videos, which will give you further insights into different aspects of RF Pro. Thanks a lot for watching.